Damn it! What? We forgot the toilet paper. So? So, we don't have any more. What are we gonna do now? Well, I don't know. What did your people used to do in the old days? I don't know. Come on, you must have some kind of tradition for that. What was your tradition? Well, our tradition was the catalog. <laughs> funny, funny. Look at that! Well, I'm no expert, but that looks vaguely aboriginal. There's nothing vague about it. That's genuine redskin. Well, uh, maybe it's the beginning of some kind of theme park. That would be nice. Oh, yeah, sure. Until the bus loads of tourists start showing up, it's gonna be Banff all over again. Are those drums? Sounds like it. It's 5.30 in the morning. You gotta be cousins of yours. Why are they cousins of mine? Just playing the odds, honey. What do we do now? There's your answer. Well, uh, don't be long, honey. All right, I'll go. The natives are restless. Drumming woke me up way too early. Don't they know that that is really, really rude? It sounded like it was right next door. That's because it is right next door. Whatever, Dad, just make it stop. Don't worry. We're gonna stop over and visit today anyway. Probably a cousin. Who could that be at this time in the morning? Oh, I'll get it. It's probably my new rowing machine. Drawing machine? Yeah, for her big trip down the Nahani River. Oh wait, that's the one that she's gonna kill herself on. The same one. Oh, that cannot be good. Oh, so that's your rowing machine, huh? Isn't it an absolute beaut? Oh, can you guys take it to the garage and help me set it up? <gasps> I'm so excited! Oh! It's her exercise machine, and we have to do all the lifting and moving? It's a man's world. Well, take that in. Donnie, take that in. Okay, boys, on three. One, two, three. Nice teepee, big teepee. Nice anookshuk, big anookshuk. What's all that? Is that a buffalo skull? Yeah. That's a reindeer hide. Well, what's this, like a flea market for natives? It looks like the United Nations of First Nations. Yeah. Well, there's the ambassador now. Excuse me? Excuse me! Oh, I apologize. I did not hear you. <clears throat> Welcome to my reservation. I hope you are finding the moose meat and the panic uh, to your satisfaction. Yes, it's really good. <sighs> good, I am so pleased. So I take it you are not exactly uh, native? Uh, no, uh, but I am trying to be. Uh, I am very devoted to their, uh, to your ways. Mm. 
I am so delighted to know that I will be living so close to the, the real First Nations people. <laughs> At least uh, one of them, anyway. We must get together sometime and uh, build a canoe, yeah? Yes, let's do that. A few weeks on this sucker, and I will be ready for the Amazon. I mean the Nahaney. You do know rowing and canoeing are two separate activities? They use different muscles and motions. They do? They do. Well, what am I doing on a rowing machine when I'm going canoeing? How's that rowing machine going there? I'm taking it back. Oh, really? Did you meet our new neighbor? You could say that. He's quite interesting. Gave us this universal aboriginal gift bag. And he wants your mother to help him build a birch bark canoe. Can you do that? <laughs> That's not the point. He already has a store-bought one. So let me guess, he's white. Yeah, a German, a German German. Yeah, I know the type. <laughs> a German with a store-bought canoe. Probably have to fish him out of that pond he's got over there. Pond? Over there? A German, a canoe. And a pond. Hmm. My people. Um, my name is she who flies with the eagles, also known by my white brothers and sisters as Kate, a sister of Josie. Danza, uh, she who flies with the eagles, uh, known as Kate, uh, sister of Josie. Uh, I. I am honored to have you here. I am on a journey. A journey? W what kind of a journey? I am in search of a small lake and a canoe. Oh. <laughs> Just like this one. Oh. You have a very big canoe. Ha, oh, danke. Uh. Why do you want a canoe? That is a good question. Um, why indeed? Yeah. Well, because she who, who flies with the eagles, upon occasion, must walk the journey of another. And the other is, um, <clears throat> Josie. Josie. Josie, yeah, who yeah. you know. Yeah. Josie, and they call her she who swims with fishies. Fishies. Yeah, and, and now I must walk her path, and, and that's why I, I need a, a canoe and, and a small lake. <laughs> um, can you help me? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, yes, of course I can. <laughs> Would you like some sweet grass? Oh, no, that's okay, I've already had some today. Uh -huh. Um, I really like your place. Oh. You should have seen all the stuff this guy had. Paintings, sculptures, dream catchers, pottery. You name it, he had it. It was like he was overcompensating. You think somebody else is overcompensating? Oh, you think that, do you? Well, you just keep thinking that. Because it's not true. You know, he's just a wannabe. Kate was right. I have nothing to be intimidated by. Josie, you don't even think you're getting a little excited about this? You know what? I hate it when she asks me that. A wave of dread washes over me. He wants to play Indian? I can play Indian. I'll show him who's really native and who isn't. What does that mean? You'll see. Share my dread, son. Wolfgang! 
thing. Yeah. A truly strong Indian name. Uh. <laughs> Perhaps you were one of us in a previous life. You know, I have always felt that too. Uh, here it is. Uh, as I was telling your sister, I am ashamed to say that I only have uh, this fiberglass canoe, not a traditional birch bark one like your your ancestors would have made. But, uh, you know, one day I am going to build a, a very long, skinny canoe. <sighs> oh, Wolfie, this is perfect. Yeah, yeah. If you don't mind, please tell me about this journey you are planning to make. Oh, I am going to follow in the footsteps of my ancestors and travel down the mighty Nahaney River. And this journey will take me many miles to the north. To the north. Oh. And it is there that I hope to find my answers. What is it you are looking for? Well, you know, Wolfie, what we're all looking for. <laughs> yes? Yes? My past. Your past? My youth. Your youth. I want to, to follow my ancestors. And it is only through the eyes of the elders that we are able to find the ways of the youth. Uh, please tell me uh, how I can help you with your quest. Oh, Wolfie. <laughs> This next step that I'm about to take, I must do alone because, well, it's for my people. <gasps> oh! Oh, hi! Oh, are you okay? Oh, oh no! Oh. Ah, kick! Oh. Oh. Go, yeah. Oh. I'm okay. Ah. Here's something a recipe for something called oolican grease, whatever that is. Where am I gonna get oolikins? Well, I have no idea. What are oolikins? They're a herring or a smelt. They're like a West Coast delicacy. Keep looking. Well, this looks interesting. What does? Roast prairie chicken with an elk sage stuffing. Sounds pretty native to me and nouveau cuisine. Yeah, and more importantly, it sounds tasty, if not downright delicious. Well, my boy, I think you've got it. This will be great. Soon as I figure out how to stuff an elk up a prairie chicken. Hey, what have you been doing now? Oh, it's a long story, but the important thing is that I found a canoe and a pond to train in. Uh, you know that old saying? The creator smiles on those who help themselves. <laughs> Good morning, Koala Chuck family. Today is a good day to paddle. Where are you going? <laughs> to explore my heritage. You're wearing a neoprene wetsuit, going in a fiberglass canoe with a German on a man-made lake. What kind of heritage is that? It has been prophesized that he, or in my case she, will find her path in life through unconventional means. When are you gonna stop acting like that? I know not what you say, my dear sister. We have always communicated like this since our great white brother shared his language with us. Ugh, I have spoken. Uh huh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, tell your buddy Wolfgang to come to dinner tonight for a real traditional native meal. Will do. Oh, and by then, much appetite. Will I have? Go away, Yoda. What's this real traditional meal consist of? 
Oh, something me and Walter have been working on all yesterday. But first, we gotta find some elk. Got any ideas? I will travel far and search in the lands of the supermarkets to find you a dead animal. Cook at your table. I have spoken, so let it be done. Ow! I was worried that you might have changed your mind uh, with this challenge before you. I must say I find it very oddly culturally inauthentic that you would have tripped over a canoe paddle and then face first into the mud. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, see, that that was um uh, the trickster in me. <laughs> oh. oh, do you hear that? The spirit of the lake calls me. <gasps> uh, would you like a life jacket? Oh, no. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, the spirit of the lake will not harm me. Come on, spirit. Help me out here. Very well. Uh, how would you like to begin? Give me my paddle. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Many times I have stroked the water. Okay. Fear not, Wolfie. Yeah. The spirit of my ancestors will guide my paddle and make this journey safe. You may push me now! Uh, did you remember to put the tobacco on the water? What? Uh, oh. 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 Are you oh. okay? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Do I oh. look freaking okay? Oh. 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 Screw this canoeing stuff! Oh. Screw the Nahaney River! Let some crazy white woman do this! I quit! Perhaps we should get out of the water now. I, I'm really starting to sink into the mud. I know what I'll do. Uh. I will recapture my youth on a beach in Hawaii, sipping a Mai Tai. Yeah. Oh, um. But I, I am very confused. Could you just, um, could you just turn around for a minute, please? Uh. Ah. Thank you. Uh. Yeah? I just need to pee. My leg is getting warm. Nukum, Kaseyan, Kawemio Gisakansen. Ah, Kinehiochi. Eha, Meo Kisika. He speaks Creek? Apparently. With a German accent. Nete? Yeah. Hi, hi. Hi. Hey, Josie, that looks terrific. Well, what is that? Caribou. Fresh, tender, just like Mom used to make. I'll be the judge of that. I was going to make something else, but I couldn't find any elk, so, you know, I. I'm sure that's going to be great, honey. This is totally wunderbar. <laughs> Uh, what kind of carbo is it? Cut. Uh, no, uh, is it a woodland or lichen fed? Woodland or like... I don't know it. I didn't know there was a difference. Of course. How can you not know this? Uh, lichen fed carbo is often considered uh, the most tastiest of carbo. Hank, what's lichen? Rock moss. I don't understand you all. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Ashamed? Did you just say ashamed? You have no teepee at this house. Or even a, a, a sweat lodge. Your sister is an embarrassment on the water. I can't argue that. And you? You are married to a Russian. Them's fighting words there, Fritz. And 
You do not know anything about the very animals that give your people sustenance. This is unforgivable. The only thing that is truly and 100% native in this house is our beloved Elda sitting here. Actually, I have a plastic hip. Unbelievable. In Germany, we have names for people like you. We call you Coca-Cola Indians. You have all been corrupted by the 20th and 21st century. I think, no, I actually know. I am more Indians than all of you. Ich bin im Put. <laughs> Anyone for sauerkraut? Oh, that's right, he just left. <laughs> Give it everything you got, just move like you're in a groove or a deep valley. Prove you're someone that the world needs madly. Keep the heart of everything near you. Be who you are, shine like you do, aboriginal. I'm speaking directly to you, fool. 